Natsuki hands me the graphic novel and motions for me to sit down. We're about to settle in and start reading when Natsuki springs back to her feet. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Whoa, what? Natsuki's outbursts, words, outburst startles me out of my seat. I look around to see what the trouble is. I spot Tiffany near the closet door. She looks just as confused as me. Huh? I'm sorry, what? You were about to go in there, weren't you? What are you up to? I beg your pardon, Natsu. I was just looking for some reference material. Oh, yeah? You sure you aren't going to dig around in my manga? And don't call me Natsu! I swear if you would have taken something. Hey, now. I'll cut you some slack since there's no way you could have known this about me. But when I was younger, other kids liked to get me in trouble by blaming me for things I didn't do. And more often than not, it was stealing, even though I never did anything of the sort. I had no idea you'd keep your manga in the closet, and even if I did, I wouldn't have taken any. But I gotta say, it doesn't feel great to be accused like that again. Well, jeez, sorry for jumping to conclusions, I guess. That's okay, it was just a misunderstanding. No, I mean, I'm sorry for acting up too. I'm just not used to having new people around is all. That's all right, I get how you feel. Don't worry, I'll be out of your hair in just a minute. And then I'll let you get back to reading your... Tiffany stops mid-sentence and her eyes light up when she spots the manga I'm holding. Holy crap, is that Parfait Girls? So what if it is? <laughs> I used to love that series. I watched the anime while I was growing up. There's an anime of Parfait Girls? There's an anime of everything, dummy! Man, it's been years since I last thought of it. That's awesome! Is the manga as good as the show? Of course not! It's even better! <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to fangirl right now. Is there any chance you could let me read it sometime? That would be super cool. Um, I'll think about it. It's not that I don't want to share or anything, it's just that... It's okay, I think I understand. Here, let me get out of y'all's way. Tiffany retrieves some kind of textbook from the closet and steps right back out. That's all I needed. You two have a good time. With that, Tiffany departs to leave us to our business. Well, isn't that something? You found another fan of your favorite series. Maybe you two could bond over it and become good friends. I don't know. She seems nice. Um, I think she is nice. I think you're a dummy. Now, are you gonna read or what? Now that we can settle in for real, I start my way into the book while Natsuki reads along. The characters are already becoming familiar to me, and the series' charm is beginning to shine through. However, I can't help but notice that Natsuki keeps glancing away. She's been looking across the room distractedly. I think I know who's in her sight, but decide to approach the subject indirectly. Is something bugging you? Eh? No, it's nothing! Really? Must be an interesting bit of nothing since you're sneaking peeks at it. Well, well if I have to address the literal elephant in the room! So I was right. She narrows her eyes in Shiro's direction before continuing. I'm just keeping an eye on things, that's all. <laughs> Would it kill you to trust him a little? I don't know, would it? Since you're so unconcerned, you tell me! Well, you were wrong about me when I joined, weren't you? Hey, that remains to be seen! Wow, seriously? I mean, you've been cool so far, but... You misjudged Tiff a minute ago, too. Are you noticing a pattern here? Um, Alright, so maybe I'm a bit paranoid! Only a bit? Shush! Even if my suspicions weren't totally founded before, it's different with him, I can tell. And how's that? Come on, don't tell me you didn't see how he was looking at Yuri on Monday. He's after her, and he, she's so spineless that she probably won't turn him away. So you're watching him like a hawk? I only want what's best for her. She's not going to protect herself. I didn't know you cared that deeply about Yuri. What? Well, it's nothing weird. She and I might disagree on a few things. Like what counts as literature. But she's still a friend. I, I want to make sure she's okay. Aw, that's really sweet. Don't freaking patronize me! I'm not. I mean it. I think it's very kind of you. I don't know if you need to look out for her this much, but I can see you only mean well. Just remember, you're not the only one here. I'm sure the others wouldn't let anything bad happen to Yuri. <sighs> you're right. I'm being overly cautious. Probably. Try definitely. We need to give them a chance like we agreed to. I know we do, but... It's not just him. It's the whole club. Hmm? What do you mean? Like, before the festival, before you joined, this was a comfy place to hang out. We could all come in, read, and have a good time. 
And we can't now? It just doesn't feel the same. This place was my home away from home. But now there are all these new people and the vibe is off. I don't want to say it's bad now, but I miss that cozy feeling. I get what you mean. You were used to it being one way, then it suddenly changed. We can't exactly go back to how it was. I mean, I wouldn't be too happy to leave. But maybe we can find a way to bring some of that comfiness back. Good luck with that. Hey, if it's up to me, I'll do my best for you. Uh, well, what's that supposed to mean? Why are we talking about this anyway? You're the one who wanted to read with me. Oh, you mean you wouldn't like to read with me too? I... it's not like... I, I'm not against it or anything. Well, if we can sit and focus, then maybe. Okay, fine. We'll sit and focus. I won't let myself get distracted anymore. Now, where were we? With her fears momentarily laid to rest, Natsuki and I continue to read her manga. Now that we're giving it our full attention, it's actually pretty fun. As we go along, Natsuki opens up a bit more, pointing things out and laughing from time to time. It's nice to see her loosen up. She's prickly enough when she only has herself to worry about. We're both so attentive that it's a complete surprise when Monica calls out to everybody. Yay! Natsuki's thing. Okay. I gotta... Wipe off my glasses again. Cause they're covered in teardrops. From the sailory route. Frick! Now my eyes are crustier than ever. These are the things I endure for you, dear viewer. Did you have fun reading with Notsky today? I did. Seems like she enjoyed it too. That might be the happiest I've seen her. Yeah, she doesn't get to share too often, so it must be really nice or special for her. Well, I know the rest of the club has different tastes. But doesn't she have any other friends who read manga? I don't think so. It's kind of sad, really, and they just think it's kid stuff. Heh, <laughs> that couldn't be further from the truth. That's right, but you know how people are. Yes, I do. Anyway, it means a lot to her when you show interest like that, so I'm glad you could brighten up her day. Eh, <laughs> I was just being nice. <laughs> You're always nice. <laughs> Thanks for saying so. See you tomorrow, Helly. Have a good evening. Oh, time are we going already? <laughs> Grief. Oops, I forgot. We're going for Natsuki. Derp. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Lucky. Dang it. Uh, uh, um, uh, games. And pink. And, yeah, uh, lollipop will also work, but I'll go kiss. It's just even cuter. Uh, uh, um. Is it Rose her? She doesn't like Rose at all? You gotta be kidding me. Like, 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 why? Like, why? Why would she not like Rose? Why, Dan Salvato? Jesus Christ, socks. Kawaii. Uh. uh so let's see. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting better. We're getting better. Moving along. Boop. Boop's a good one. Marshmallow is also great. Sparkle is Sayori, but that's okay. Uh. We know she likes clouds. It's not rain clouds, just rainbow clouds. Uh. I don't think she would like rot. Uh. Mm -mm, poof. Poof is cute. Poof, pretty cute. Uh. Lipstick also. Yeah. Just utterly vapid. Um, <laughs> headphones? Yup, yup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He used to have it that he would jump for headphones, but he changed it to Tiff because she's like into music and stuff. Uh, 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 ple pleasure? I don't think pleasure is it. Promise, maybe? Nope. That was also a CRE word. That's okay. I'm quite confident that we got her. But just in case we don't, I'm gonna drop a save uh, over this one. Uh, but yeah, I'm like really confident. <laughs> there we go. Parfait finished it off. Skip. Uh, before I can even get my bearings, my thoughts are interrupted by an ear splitting shriek. Uh-oh. I rush over to the closet to see what's the matter. Natsuki, what's wrong? Are you okay? Somebody stole my manga! What? Seriously? Natsuki steps aside to reveal a mostly full closet. Everything is as I remember it. Except for a certain pink box set that is now mostly empty. Oh no, your Parfait Girls collection. Out of all the volumes there were, only three remain. Who? Who could be so awful? I swear I'll find who did this and I'll... Try to keep it together. Let's look for clues first. I examine the crime scene to the best of my ability, which isn't saying much. 
Apart from the books itself, everything seems to be in order. Looking at the remaining books, I spy something I should have noticed right away. Natsuki, there's a message here! Uh, let me see! Natsuki shows me aside to examine the books. There's a sticky note stuck to the cover of each one. Every note contains a single letter. G, A, and I? What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea. It's at this point it occurs to me that the rest of the club is weirdly okay with this. No one else has shown any concern about what's going on. There's no chance they didn't hear her scream. Natsuki, I think this might be a setup. Excuse me? Your manga wasn't stolen. It's just being hidden from you. What makes you so sure? I look around the room at the other club members. Yuri is peeking at us over the top of her book. She hides her face when she sees me looking. Shiro is typing away at his laptop. He stops just a moment to check in our direction before continuing. Tiffany is leaning against the wall, whistling innocently. Monica looks directly at us, smiles, and shrugs. The only one not acting suspicious at all is Sayori, who is passed out napping at one of the desks. Call it a hunch, but I think the others have your books. Are you kidding? Why would they do that to me? I'm not sure, but I think we'd better find out. Who should we interrogate? Ah oh, yes, because we're playing this on my laptop that can't handle Natsuki's theme by itself, it's mixed with Yuri's theme. So that's fine and good. Let's talk to Yuri first. Let's see what Yuri knows about this. We make our way over to where Yuri is sitting. She's still burying her face in her book. All right, Yuri, what you do with my manga? Uh, but please don't jump to conclusions. I am not the mastermind behind this operation. However, I am complicit by association. In English, please! Yes, I have some of your manga. I was told to make you earn them in some small way. But I think this prank is a bit mean, so I'll give you most of them for nothing. Good! Hand them over! Yuri returns two volumes of Parfait Girls, each with their own sticky notes. We now have the letters R and E in our collection. Are you taking notes, dear viewer? Great! Is that all? Not quite. I said I'd only give you most of them. I still have one more book left. Eh? Well, what are you holding it on me for? Like I said, I was told to make you earn it. But don't worry, this will not be anything taxing. <sighs> what do you want me to do? Sometimes, to find that which is not seen, we cannot rely on our normal senses. Sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch. We use these to define our world, but our perceptions are limited. Don't get philosophical on me, just spit it out! What I'm saying is you can't use your traditional senses to pass this trial. However, sometimes one eye is better than two. If you can open your third eye, you may be able to detect that which you see. This is so freaking dumb! I don't have a third eye or whatever you're on about! So stop it and give me back my manga! Not until you at least try. Look deep inside yourself. Discover your potential. <laughs> and how exactly am I supposed to do that? Sometimes, to open one's third eye, it's easier to close your first and second. So, you want me to close my eyes? Yes. Shut them tight. Put out your hands and focus. If done correctly, your third eye should guide you to your goal. Or guide your goal to you. Whatever. Fine. I'll play along with your stupid game. I'm shutting my eyes. Now what am I waiting for? Just focus. Yuri puts an index finger to her lips, signaling for me to be quiet. She stealthily rises from her desk and steps behind Natsuki, the third manga in her grasp. I'm waiting! Nothing's happening! Using her height advantage, Yuri carefully holds the book over Natsuki's outstretched hands. If that manga isn't mine in the next five seconds, I swear! In one swift motion, Yuri drops the manga into Natsuki's palms and bolts silently out of the room. How she could move that fast so quietly is beyond me, but Natsuki opens her eyes to a book in hand with no Yuri in sight. Finally! Jeez, the note just has an exclamation point! Hey, where'd Yuri go? I shrugged nonchalantly. How should I know? I had my eyes closed, too. Eh, who cares? We got what we came for! On to the rest! Who should we interrogate? How's about Monica? Monica's not even trying to hide it. Let's go talk to her. Freaking Monica! Monica watches us approach with a coy smile on her face. Hi, guys! How are you going doing today? Cut the crap, Monica! Why'd you take my manga? Believe it or not, this wasn't my idea! And I'll give your manga back, but first you have to solve a riddle! Oh, come on! Is this really necessary? Uh -huh, of course not! We're just having a bit of fun with Natsuki! Newsflash! This is not my idea of fun! Well, I think you'll understand once you get through it all. 
Anyway, on with the riddle. I should definitely know this one. What creature walks on all fours in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three in the evening? This is actually a relatively fam uh, yeah, famous you didn't know it, you could just look it up. But the answer is human, because in the morning, you walk crawl on all fours, and on the afternoon, you walk on your two legs, and in the evening, you walk on your two legs with a cane, because it's a metaphor for life. Oh, I think I hid. Oh, that's, there we go. There you go, you got it. Monica hands Natsuki back one of her books. But that only earned you one of your manga back. If you want the other two, we have to keep going. Ugh, what more do you want? Relax, if you knew that answer, you should also know the rest. Who or what originally spoke that riddle? So even if you weren't familiar with the riddle, you could probably look it up and discover that it was asked by the Sphinx in a certain piece of classic literature. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't go on it until I click again. I'll have to look into that. That's right, you're almost there. Here's one more punker for you, and there's one more left to earn. Let's just get this over with. Finally, what literary figure solved that riddle? And there, once you know what the actual literary work is, if you had to look out for the Sphinx, you probably had to figure out that it was from Oedipus. Bingo, we have a winner! Monica hands Natsuki her third prize. She snatches it gradually. This set has sticky notes as well. They read M, A, and N. Good job on the quiz. I was sure you knew that trivia. Though I suppose you might have just looked it up. How? We were standing here the whole time. Doesn't matter. Let's get a move on. Hehe, <laughs> meta jokes. All right, let's interrogate Tiff. Tiff is probably hiding something. After that whole spiel about how she never steals. Something tells me that's not her intent here. We go over to Tiffany, who smiles warmly at us. So, hey, uh, you may have noticed in Siori's route, but whenever we picked uh, Tiffany for the first thing, she had haze in her eyes, and whenever we started this event, she also had haze in her eyes. But since we approached her later, her eyes aren't hazy. But if we picked her first, her eyes would be hazy. I look, I did that. I did that thing. We go over to Tiffany, who smiles warmly at us. Hey, oh, Halle. Huh, Natsu? I told you not to call me that! And what's the deal, Tiff? Why'd you take my manga? <laughs> you think you have it all figured out. But I didn't plan this heist, I just agreed to help. The full reason you'll soon see. I don't care what the reason is! Nothing would be good enough to justify this! We'll see how you feel once it's over. In the meantime... Tiffany holds up three volumes of the manga, fanning them out in her hand. Get those back! Not so fast. I have a little quiz for you first. Ah! Why? If you're a real Parfait Girls fan, then this'll be a piece of cake. Your puns are as bad as Monica's! <laughs> I won't deny it. First question, who's the unluckiest girl in the series? Oh please, this one's so easy, even Halle can answer it! The unluckiest girl? Well, obviously it's... Elissa. Who? There's no Elissa in Parfait Girls! There's not? I could have sworn I heard that name somewhere. Well, you didn't hear it in this! The answer's Minori! It is indeed. Moving on, you know the manga is 18 volumes. But how long is the anime? Simple! 26 episodes like any sensible show would have! That's two seasons. <laughs> I just can't fool ya. Alright, one last question. When the girls got into a baking competition against each other, who won? Uh-oh. We haven't read that far yet. Spoilers, Tiff! I guess the answer could be Alice, Mori, Parfait, Nanoko. Don't embarrass yourself! You wouldn't know it anyway! And this is a trick question because none of them won! That's right, they all lost to their rival, the class star. But they learned an important lesson about friendship. You're darn right they did, now give me back my stuff! <laughs> Since you passed my test with flying colors, here are your books. Tiffany returns the three volumes to Natsuki. She checks them for more notes. Sure enough, we now have the letters A, T, and U. We got what we came for, let's keep going! Take care, Natsu. Don't call me! See you around, Tiff. Who should we interrogate? I guess Shiro. I think Shiro might be involved in this. He's in for a world of hurt if he is! Only one way to find out. We go to confront Shiro. He's still typing away, even after we get close. Alright, nerd! No funny business! Where's my manga? I don't know. In the closet, right? Don't play dumb! Now fork it over! <laughs> it's not that straightforward. I have three of your precious manga, but I'm not just gonna give them back. You piece of crap! I'm... Hold your horses. There's only one thing you have to do before I return them. 
I have a few brain-busting questions for you to answer first. They're tough, but as long as you can get at least one of them right, you win. How about I take your glasses and shove them up your- What are the questions? Remember, you only need to get one of them. If a man sets out from the Horset Nebula traveling at thrice the speed of light, and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before Time Paradox causes the first man never to have been born? What? Uh, is it three? It is not three. Would you like to try another question? I think we better, yeah. Uh, very well. Question two. What is the mass of a solid dodecahedron composed of unrefined nickel, three decameters to the side, rounded to the nearest milligram? Um, I liked the first question better. I think they're equally impossible. There is still one more I could ask. Fine, let's hear it. Okay, if you're traveling at the speed of light and you turn your headlights on, what happens? You would ask a question about headlights. <laughs> well, what's your answer? Mm, I... Hold on, if we're moving at the speed of light, wouldn't we be moving just as fast as the energy being generated? No, the light will be twice as fast, right? I don't think that's how it works. It would be going the same speed as the vehicle, so it wouldn't light up anything at all. Congratulations, you got it. Good, now give me back my books! Without hesitation, Shiro hands over three more volumes. Their accompanying notes have the letters T, E, and R. What were all the other answers, anyway? Oh, you'll just have to look them up. The answer is, who cares? We still have more manga to collect!